Okay, for AB, we have another one. We want to find the exact value, reference angle, and draw in standard position. We'll start with 5 pi over 4. Again, uh, in the notes uh, for the, the key, I used uh, radians all the way through. If you don't want to do it that process, you can also do like we did for the previous one, and we can convert it over into degrees. So we're going to multiply this by 180 over pi. Pi's are going to cancel out, and then when you reduce it, you'll get 225. So 225 is your reference, uh, your angle for this one, and that's the one that we're going to draw in standard position. Uh, so 225 is going to be between 180 and 270, so it's going to be down here in the third quadrant. So this is going to be, uh, I'll put 5 pi over 4 here since the original angle was in radians. Okay, so we want to find the reference angle. So we'll start that over here, reference angle, because it's in the uh, second quadrant, that means that we want to use the, the formula theta minus 180. So we're going to do theta, which is 225, minus uh, 180. So you want to be refer to the, the diagram again of the reference angles. So I had that before on 8a, so you can look back at that video for it. It's also in the notes. This is going to give you 45 degrees. We're going to write our reference angle in terms of radians. That's pi over 4. When we want to find the value, we're really doing this th uh, three-step process here. Uh, so we have 2 is going to be next. The second step, if we're going to find the value, we found the reference angle, that's the first step. Second step is to apply the trig function to the reference angle. The trig function is sine. So we're going to do sine 45, which is square root of 2 over 2 would be the exact value. For step 3, you're going to apply the appropriate sign depending on the quadrant it's in. We're in the uh, third quadrant, so all students take. T stands for tangent, everything else is negative. That means that this value needs to be negative when we write our value. So sine of 5 pi over 4 is going to be equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. We have to put that negative sign there because again, your sine would have to be negative in the third quadrant.